Now we're still old. But we're good. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> now we're good. Yeah. And, that's, you know, and you know what? I feel kind of, I feel more comfortable with the motorhome. But now. that's also. That's what, I feel more comfortable with the motorhome. Okay. That's what happens when it's we. Uh, ours now. That's what happens when we, uh, you know, when Polly quits smoking weed. That's what happens. She wrecks everything. She wrecks everything. <laughs> the moment she quits smoking pot, you know, that's that's when everything goes to hell. I'm like, what? No. I smoke too much pot. So, so, so you're not smoking pot anymore. Never what, what's did. happened here? What's? Never did, <laughs> 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 Polly, Polly, yeah. That's right. <laughs> hey, it, 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 it could, it could be like, uh, it, it, it could be like the the Hulk Hogan trial, where where he goes in and he says Hulk Hogan has the ten inch penis, not Terry Bollea. So it could be. Polly doesn't smoke pot, but Polly Punkneck does. You're playing a character. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Real life or character? I better not see a picture like that. I, I heard the Cos- Cosby tried to rape uh, Hulk Hogan, didn't he? Oh, yeah, Cosby. I thought that. that the- Cosby? Hulk Hogan came out and said yeah. Cosby raped him. Cos- Cosby raped him. And he's also back. But they say, you know. Cosby or Hogan, which yeah. one? <laughs> Dude. And then Cosby behind Hogan. This is just, this is just got off the rails. Where Here do, it goes, where do you put sir. Janice, where do you put Janice Dickinson, you know, in the picture? You're like, God, I, maybe I'd rather fuck Hulk Hogan than t- Janice Dickinson. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's probably more worn out than she was before. Yeah. <laughs> she was so mad. So mad. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes when you have those jeans that last a long time, you get. You sometimes you just gotta get rid of them. <laughs> you just gotta get rid of them. You're like you're, the... They grow out of them. You know. Sometimes the the seams get done. You can't be seen. You can't be seen in them. But she just married the... Mean Jean. Does she mean Mean, mean Jean? Jean? <laughs> Okerlund? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just speculating. But it's all hearsay. It's all hearsay. That's right. It's it's all it's all hearsay. And uh, well, speaking of hearsay, I heard Vanilla Ice is is digging the Vanilla Ice thing versus uh, Robert Rip Van Winkle, or whatever it is. Is that his name? That that I think is uh, as as the rappers like to say the government name. That's I heard Fifty Cent name. ain't got millions of dollars. No. I no, know. that's. <laughs> I saw a picture of me eating M and I was like, "Wow, it must be rough." <laughs> is that some kind of? Must be rough. Is that some kind of media break crime? I'm like, man, I'm gay. <laughs> I like M and M. Put M and M in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Now, uh, has so so you guys have been out on the yeah East Coast, West Coast, the or whole from well from Kansas. To uh, Tennessee, down to the bottom of Florida, over to South Texas, and up. We've done since, uh, what was it, December? Yeah, pretty much for the whole winter, we stayed in the Gulf. Yeah, we stayed the whole Gulf, and we've been touring with Rusty Nuts. We brought with us tonight. That's right, he's in the He's just become like your traveling companion. Yeah, I don't know why he's sitting there not talking. You know? I did, I told you something about Hulk Hogan, you didn't know. (laughs) Oh. He talked about a whole COVID and Bill Cosby. Pull that thing down. He's <laughs> a little vanilla and chocolate. I think that I think the mic's just too far away from him. He's like he's like I get up, I lean into this. Well, you can you can take it off the stand well, if you want. The further I lean, and lean in, the back. More jokes he's <laughs> it's it's okay, man. That's a it's that's totally a, up to that's you. That's a maneuverable uh, uh, stand you got there. That's right. I got the pillow behind me. I I had some I had some uh, heavy metal guys in here on Sunday, and they just took the mics off the stands. They're just like screwing. They're wireless mics, so they just took them off and leaned back on the couch. In that case, uh, you mind if I do the interview from the bathroom? (laughs) (laughs) How far do they reach? Exactly. Let me borrow that picture behind you. So, so Jason, you, 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 and you were talking earlier about coming up with Juggalo nicknames or something. What well, is this? We're 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 doing a whole new uh, hip hop thing, you know. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Papa got us. But we, we want to relate to the kids today, so since they uh, don't want to do nothing with their lives but clown around, you know, and search to be the next billionaire app maker. Yes. Uh, it's like we're going to stoop down their level a little bit and give them a little bit of our hick hype hop. A little Jerry Jeff Juggalo. <laughs> you know, yeah. Jerry Jeff Juggalo. And I'm going to be Kanye Twisky with a K A H N way. Yeah, like like a like a Wrath of Conway. Wrath of Conway. There we go. Wrath of Conway. There it is. That's pretty good. That's, I see it. We're, so we're what? Are magic. we going to have Polly in the middle of the performance goes, no. Con! No, she's, she's going to. I guess I'm going to be Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce. She's sitting over here looking like Private Benjamin. I know. Yeah. She does have the. Uh, Goldie Hawn. She did. Right she does have the Goldie Hawn look. You know what's funny is that if Britney was here, she would have no clue any of that references. Yeah, she well, wouldn't know who Goldie Hawn was. She didn't know what know what Private Benjamin was. <laughs> she, Most her guys, being born in 1990 ruins a lot of my references. <laughs> See, if you if, if you think she's cute, you go Private Benjamin. But if you think you want to fuck her, you go G.I. Jane. <laughs> Here you go. I'm like, don't watch GI Jane if you want to fucking be a woman in the middle. Well, and then she's got the the backwards uh, baseball cap, so it looks like you know maybe she could be like an auto mechanic or something. Or she could be a part of EMF. <laughs> oh, that too. You're so unbelievable. <laughs> she's part of our profiling section. Our dan, profiling. Dan, 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 dan. You know what? You know, like he. Uh, we just saw Forty outside. Oh, really? Pody. Yeah. Kids. Pody. Kids Norris is walking around. You know, and and what, what you listeners out there, you listeners out there don't know that. What was Forty doing out in the parking no, lot? No. So, he said so, he was getting on the wagon. To all you listeners out there, we. to stalk you. Me, uh, me and Russ. <laughs> Go. Me, me and Russ T. Nuts are standing outside, and, and the studio's over here, and, and where, where Jiggy's at is. Right across from a middle school, and uh, what you don't know is you got this uh, ginger trucker, red man chewing uh, Asheville, North Carolina redneck, rusty nuts, standing outside on the back of his shirt, on a white shirt, it says, black, white, or gay, Jesus don't give a fuck on the back, and it's like... <laughs> We see Forty across the street, and he's screaming Russ's name. I thought that was you. I thought that was you. It was awesome. It was. Great. We love Hutchinson. It's it's great to be recognized like that, isn't it? You know how much trouble we got to get into where we how much trouble we got into where we're from to be known. You know, it's cool to come here and they're like, Bring we love around. the shit you do. You're like, oh great. All right, can you talk to the people in my hometown? Yeah, right. Yeah, they, they'd have to start the abortion clinic and then go to the welfare office and we'd meet all his girlfriends. <laughs> That's fantastic. There's a lot, man. There's, There's a, lot. a lot, man. He was a trucker. He, that boy's seen more things in the parking lot than you could ever dream of. Rusty you know, nuts. Don't be afraid to eat it off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> just... Just don't worry about. Holly the looks like she's terrified over there. <laughs> when he said something if about it don't be good, afraid to eat it off the ground, she's like. If it looks good to you, <laughs> fuck it. These boys have been having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. How have you been able to keep your sanity as well? <laughs> you know, I just... <laughs> you know what? I just, back, I just put on their... the Metallica Symphonic album. And... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and when, one thing we really tried to really figure out, too, recently, and we didn't realize until we got to Kansas that, you know, like, how much um, the all these supremacies, you know, Aryan Brotherhood. Oh and yes, shit. you know we didn't realize. They're big you know, fans. Well, no, no, we, we we got we got some we got we got our gay perv mags with uh, the <laughs> Sky and Rachel. And, 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 yes, you and do. They're, they're gay. And they're, oh, they're, Bob they're Hunter loves gay. them. They're they're and, his uh, favorite lesbian they, couple. We realize that there's <laughs> a gay supremacy. Too. There's a <laughs> We realize there's a gay supremacy. Why don't racist people and gay people get together? Because they both have a supremacy, and they yeah, both go to rallies. There's a whole gay supremacy. You know what I mean? You're like, <laughs> they both have neither one of them. Neither one of them want each other around their own rallies. and They normally respect that everywhere they go, but then sometimes you get 
on one side of the fence, on either side of that fence, you'll get them. Either side believe, of that fence. You're gonna believe what I believe. And I'm like, why don't you achieve what I achieve? You know? If I'm jerking off on it, it doesn't mean you have to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is the. <laughs> it's only gay if you jerk off on a back. <laughs> Well, and then and then I don't know if you I don't know if he's he's got his uh, he's got his motorcycle out. Did you see the motorcycle next door? No, but at all. Well, there's a there's a guy he used to he used to live above me. He moved across over there and he got a motorcycle. And he's a big motorcycle guy, and he's supposedly a big Christian too. Right. Supposedly. And. Yeah, Christians are, <laughs> there's, a, there's a super huge I, Christian uh, swinger scene. Well, you mentioned something about I just you know meth for Jesus. Don't don't jack off or come on a, you know, whoever, <laughs> whatever. He had a chick that was uh, sleeping in his bed one night, and she he wanted to bang her. She didn't want to do anything, so he just like lay next to her and jacked off and came on her back. And, and so, that's how you do it. And then you won't get pregnant. This is how it's done. That's, I just left you that for lighter, honey. That's just what's hot in the streets, I guess. I figure if you didn't want it, it'd dry up. <laughs> Jerking, for Jesus. Jerking for Jesus. It's not a solid arm. Why'd break. you do that to me? Well, I just left it on you in case you wanted it. And I figured, you know, it'd dry if you didn't want it. It was a souvenir. Oh, my God. You know, uh, he's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the bread You have a point, the bread on a, uh, That's why I left the bread on a nightstand. <laughs> How have you been able to put up with this, <laughs> Russ? How have you been able to, to, to deal with this over here? I know. You're like, you're like she's got to love his dick. <laughs> no way. Well, I, 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 get the, I get the whole thing. But what about you him? Two, How does he do You, it? my friend. <laughs> I tell you what. You just got to have your own vehicle. Right, yeah, and ride behind because you know they take out all the obstacles in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. And if I get in a fight, it's up to everybody that I'm with to get our shit out of the venue. That's the only two rules. Have you had any of those issues with this? Uh, of course. Fight? Yeah. <laughs> what was the last fight you got to do? Hattie, uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Was it? No, it wasn't Hattie. What have you done? It was, uh, Ocean Springs. Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Mississippi. And then before that. What are you? I don't even remember uh, that. Uh, oh, Carrollton. Carrollton, Georgia. Georgia. And. Uh, I don't remember that one. You don't remember that dude touching me? That's where he punched the fat chick. He goes, or the don't worry, dude. Punch. I'm in a band. And I'm like, well, okay, you just touched me twice, pulled me while I'm on stage. And I'm like going, you know what? I'm not going to take this. I said, touch me again, I swear to God. And he goes, I'm in the band. And I, I just, I swear to God, my rock and roll feng shui touched rock me. Rock and roll feng shui. And I, I, the guy flew. Oh, like, my God. He, he flew like five, ten feet. I mean, he flew, dude. And I'm not a big guy. I mean, if you see me, I mean, I look sexy, but I'm not big. I'm sexy. Rock and roll feng shui. But, but I, I've tossed him, and then this big black girl comes up, and she was kind of black. She wasn't even full black. <laughs> <laughs> she, kind of she pops me in my head. She goes, no one hits my friend, bitch. And it pops me. And I, I got my guitar on and everything. <laughs> I, I, God. I started packing no up shit and left. No protection at all. Never go back there. <laughs> and I realized, I'm like, like where I'm from. We'll never play in this town again. <laughs> That's right. People, where I'm from, where I'm half from. Half bar, half restaurant, whatever it is. And where I come Go. from, fag ain't just about sex. It's it's more about, you know, like being stupid. Like we call somebody a fag because they're stupid or something. And uh, so a lot of people get misinterpreted with Southerners when we say fag, you know. I'm like, going, no, it's got nothing to do with you sucking dick. It's got about your dumb ass. I always you think know? of cigarettes overseas. Nah, yeah, but I don't give a fuck. About <laughs> a fag. You know, that's that's what we're smoking a fag. <laughs> we're we're uh, we're all kind of. Uh, I, I am at least on the trip of. I don't really give a shit about the whole Europe thing as much as a lot of people do. Yeah, because I'm American as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that is it. that is and one he, thing he I said, do like about you. You said, are American I, as fuck. Yeah. How do I handle this? Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, it's, it's more like you just pretend like you're writing a book and stay the fuck away from it and just watch it go down. It's really my perspective. That's all it and is. If you're writing a book, you actually get more than if you're videotaping because you know what? You you never have the video camera around when we really fucking need it. You know, you're like, you're like, why don't we ever get Jason in a fight? They're like, I ain't gonna get hit. I'm doing. A, well, you just wear a GoPro on your hat. Yeah, put it in a little rubber ball. <laughs> Or pen cam everything. Every time a fight breaks out, I just throw this why is, GoPro in the middle of it. Why that's the, right. Why do the punk necks look like cops with all that GoPro shit on? <laughs> you, know? you, you, like, could, you could button cam. or she, She's got she's got buttons on her outfit there. She could pin cam. I don't could know. button cam. Hat cam. You can do all sorts of she, things. You know how much of that shit we'd lose when we get drunk? Well, that's yeah. A, well, that's just a, that's that's. That's you that's wouldn't weird. you wouldn't forget you, you you would forget to take the SD card out. We need or, somebody to take the shit off you, once yeah, after the show. You, you like, need you need we your need a hand, camera person a to hand, follow you around. Handler, <laughs> handler. <laughs> yeah, we need a handler <laughs> or an advisor. That's right. We an need, advocate. We, we need a rowdy controlled <laughs> environment. Right? How do you control that? You get somebody that likes to be yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> We put an audition on Craigslist. Yeah. You like to be yelled at and maybe punch? Well, we got a job for you. We got a job for you. It's yeah. the road with the fuck next. <laughs> do you like do you like arguing and not fucking? Well come join our band. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a brief time out. When we come back, we're going to keep chatting with the punk necks. I wanna talk with them about uh, their presidential picks. Uh